Alrighty, let's watch this whole thing from the beginning and there is sound. Beg your pardon, forgot to knock. Whoa, all right. It's good stuff. There's good timing there. And looking at your notes here, you are saying Boris and the door. Okay. And the agent's hand grabbing his jacket. Mm, okay, okay. All right, so that's what you flagged there. That's fine. I like this. I like that you have the... Well, besides the sections, you have the <laughs> pause here. I'm a big fan of that. Just whoop. All mechanics seems cool. You got your shoulder involvement coming down. Then that pull pulls the chest down as well. You got your finger change, compression on the fingers. You can probably squeeze this area to get a bit more. So if you get from this and then we feel a bit more of a squeeze in the fingers as he pulls that down and it's a feels a bit loose there it might just be because of the rotation of the cap but maybe it's what i'm seeing here as you get loose here a little bit of a cap movement there it's cool though the general timing is cool watch out this area feels a bit wobbly womp, womp. Let me just turn on the sound just a tad, just in case here. I think you can simplify that. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of uh, forearm back and forth wiggle. Going back, forward, back, forward there. It could just be part of the lighting, but I think we can just keep this into a swing. Just like a swinging back towards camera and then swinging forward here. That makes sense. Other than that, again, I like that you have that pause and then the opening. I like that swing, hold, swing, and out. Because he doesn't know he's in danger. He's just kind of like, all right, well, let's get out of here. Now, you talk about the hands. It's a bit loose, you're right. Yeah, and also intersections with the fingers. Totally get it. And you're going to work on that. Do like a little offset finger, though. And watch out. I think we can simplify this too a little bit. Like you already have a bit of an elbow pop here. Bam! Before this happens. And then watch out your hand as your hand pops this way and then over this way. If you can smooth that out and just give this a nice move over this way. And then watch out. This is a bit of a straight path going this way. What is he doing? And then he goes up. So it could be cool to do a bit of a arc like that. Then he hangs here. And then instead of falling straight down, it could be, you know, it could be something where it, it goes. It doesn't have to be a crazy arc. It could be a little bit of a shallow arc, but you still have a bit of a oh, 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 something like that. And even tighter if you want to. But right now it has an ever so slight feel of this. I think we can do a little bit more flourish, just a bit. I mean, he is unconscious. You don't want to go too crazy, but I think a little bit would be nice. You got a nice finger hand change, that's nice. And even the other one here too, as that hand comes out, it feels like it's going up like that. And you have a little bit of a IK hold there. That seems like an IK arm where this is stuck in space. And goes, at least it goes this way, but same thing with this hands. I will probably do something like that in an ever so slight subtle fashion, but I think that would be nice. Let's see the hit. <laughs> I like the hit. <laughs> Let's see. Could we? If you look at your head orientation, how much I see of the ear and the nose and the face. Once you're here, pa 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 pa. Unless, not unless, until we're around here, I see a slight rotation in Y. But watch out for that step down and up here. I think you can still push that orientation a bit more because there's a slight feeling of this head just being locked in this pose as you go forward i see a bit of a drop down here but maybe as we get to this as he holds on that step it could be maybe tilted this way instead of like that it's like this 
Bam, and then on that step, he gets into that. Again, subtle, but it could be something in there. I wonder if we can simplify this shape. I, think, I don't think it's a shot killer, because it's so fast, but I'm wondering if we can have a very clear... Because you have a this shape, this shape, this shape, this shape. You know, where, where the, the mouth silhouette and the lines are changing and i'm wondering would there be a cool moment where you have bam and this is a very clean shape teeth out maybe even a tooth missing flying off but you keep that shape for two three frames so that when we do this we just read that shape if that makes sense because it is a repeat another change on that fast move we still have a slight read of like everything being pushed this way and staying for a little bit until it comes back into into that although even here i feel like this is a bit busy i don't know how much control you have over those shapes but that's that i think there but i do like that you have a slight change as you go down the only thing i would say is this feels like this is a certain scale and now you're scaling down. Where this feels like an actual scale versus if this is the jaw and then it gets smaller, then, then I will bring the jaw up. So it gets it gets smaller and thinner because it's stretching this way. So it's a bit of a, you know, this way and then this way. And right now it just feels like a scale in here without a scale out this way. So the volume and mass is changing. And it might also be a fun drag to have that jaw. You know, maybe he just guy just broke his jaw and maybe it's completely loose now. And maybe to a point where at the very end you can see a tooth. You know, they fold out this way. Everything is loose. That could be potentially something. But the rhythm is cool. How he drops. Yeah, it's just a matter of arcs. Cool though, I like it. Let me look at the agent here. I think it's okay. I'm slightly reacting to how quickly it exits here, but we want it to be clean too. Are reacting to I don't know that's up to you you can let me know I like that sudden comes in and we have this shape and this shape for the full impact and we hold this a bit so we can read it but I wonder if on the exit what would it look like the couple of things I think that I'm reacting to is that it feels like there's more effort on this body part to go back while that arm is still there and I know we want to read that arm but I think by the time we hear ish between these two, we're done reading it. And I think what I'm reacting to is that that the body goes away and it has that, that extension and that stretch where I feel like, would it be okay to have it like this? And as your, as your arm comes back, and you can see how this is a stretch going back, now it's okay to go back. So by the time we're here, this fist is already gone and it's more of a relaxed arm. That's a horrible drawing, but imagine your arm is is in a bent pose and not stretchy extendo back. I hope that makes sense. You do a straight, comes back so we can read it. But now he goes back and that means that your arm is bent, your arm is bent, and this will be actually not pointed this way, but pointed down because we were bent. And even the relaxed hand pose, where maybe the, the index is out, the thumb is out, so it's not in that fist. I'm just curious. Because there's something about punch and then how he's just zipping back with a fist. And I think this could be an interesting contrast too. Of boom, and then a bit more of a relaxed arm back. And it will be less zippy because we're starting the arm back after this frame-ish here. So you don't have that hold here. So it will be this. 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 Or even a bit more. Gone. Hand here. Bent. You know, forearm, maybe here. I don't know, maybe one more frame. I'm just curious. 
that shouldn't take too long, especially given your talents. And then if you want to, you can just email me. It doesn't have to be a submission. You can just, you know, email both like the old and the new version. Maybe even as like a side by side. And then we can look at what feels better. Unless you, unless you try it and immediately feel like, ah, this is not, not a good idea. Just let me know. All right. Other than that, the thing that I reacted to the most, actually, when I was watching this for the first time, is this. I feel like, subjectively, that it's going to be hold. And the amount of overshoot coming back, and then, especially here, this recovery makes it a bit too loose. I don't know why, this might just be me. Again, this is not a shock killer, because it's very subjective, but I feel like this would be a moment of where it zips with a little bit of recovery, but a very sharp hold that also works with the music, right? So if I bring back the sound a bit more. Because I feel like he wants to zip in to check. Is everything okay? Okay, everything okay? All right, well, now I can come in. And now he relaxes. And I feel like that, all of that is controlled and he's checking and he's tight and he's still tense. And I feel like that is too soft and it takes away from the tenseness. Because it feels like he wants to hit his attack mode, checking. All of that is, uh, 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 uh. You know what I mean? Like he's sharp, sharp, sharp. I need to check. Now I check. Okay, everything is clear and relax. And then he goes into his relaxed mode. That's my that's my reasoning behind it. That's cool though. Thank the look and I love the timing here. Thank you. It's cool. You'll lead there with your eye. Follow with the eyebrows. This could have a little bit of an eyebrow where you know he's done, and then maybe you can start relaxing with the mouth and the brows to get into this. So cool. Coming up here, it's a bit wiggly. I wonder if you want to do a bit more of a arm coming out and then getting flat on that wall. Just because you, it feels like you have a little bit of... There are a couple moments where like this feels like this, the chest and the head all are one piece. And then you extend counter and then it feels like you're almost overextending and then you pop into a bit of a bend there. So just watch out for that. And then watch out the spacing of this. Thank you, Pop. Even though in real time, it's not too bad. For some reason, I'm slightly reacting to the shapes of this. Going up and then suddenly to the left. Where it feels like it could be a bit of a smoother trajectory. Because then also elbow-wise, I'm seeing this. Pop here. Pop here. Somewhat stay. Where with such a big move, you almost want to ease in and overshoot a bit. Or, or just not pop as much. You know, if your elbow here, but then the elbow maybe here, where this is. Even though this is a nicer silhouette. I'm just looking at ways where we can soften that elbow into something like this. Because to me, again, now he's relaxed and is in his charming mode and witty mode. And where all the body moves would be softer. Thank you, pardon. This just feels a bit harsh there. Thank you, pardon. Thank you, pardon. Thank you, pardon. I think, beg your part, pardon could be a bit bigger. If I look at the shapes, beg your pardon, beg your pardon, they all feel the same. Feels more like wah, wah, wah. Now get a bit more contrast in that mouth. Beg. beg, maybe the bag could even have an upper shape here. Beg your par, so you have a bit more of a bag up and part and down. Beg your pardon, forgot. Beg your pardon, beg your pardon, beg your pardon. And the only other thing too is that when you look at his face, just this, Thank you, pardon. there is no real change where he looks at this and then he starts saying the line. I feel like this is like the last thing of, I'm looking at this, clearly he's out, processes that, thought process that we want to see in his eyes and face where he switches to making a witty, a witty remark, if that makes sense. And right now I don't see any change there. And he starts talking. That would be kind of fun to do. Beg your pardon. I don't know if that's too much, something to think about, but maybe you would start with a slight smile and maybe a softening of eyebrows. Just a thought there to give it a bit more of a 
of a change. Also, as I'm framing through, watch out your spacing. It's a bit messy there if you track the nose. I have to smooth it out a little bit. Your pardon? Forgot to knock. I do love this though. I love that hop. Pardon? Forgot to knock. Beg your pardon? Forgot to knock. Pardon? Forgot to knock. That being said, if I hear the voice. Beg your pardon? Forgot to knock. Pardon? Forgot mm, and he does inhale. There's just something where now that it's blind out, I almost feel like this hop is too much. In terms of the heights, like how high he goes and how strong it is. And that the voice is not quite reflecting that amount of effort. But he does inhale. Pardon? Forgot to knock. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. That was an initial knee-jerk reaction. Beg your pardon? Forgot to knock. Something for you to think about. But I think it's okay. Especially with the inhale, it works. Forgot to knock. Yeah, and then just a bit loose here, like you said. Forgot to knock. I think the only other thing is I would reduce that. There's a bit of a pop. Not a, like a one frame pop, but it feels like a very quick head move that then stops. And you can see here, we're purely in translates where it feels like a sudden head IK. And then we pop back here where your hands go down and the head go back at the same time. So this in real time Knock. feels a bit too clack clack. And I feel like your clack clack could be here, but a bit softer there. <laughs> I like that look at the end though. Oh. Cool, even a slight lift there, it's cool. Careful, you have a bit of a lift there and there. They're slightly tied to each other. That screen, the right eyelid and the left eyebrow. So I would just go here. But on that eye dart, you can probably engage the lids a bit more. So that on the up, the lids, both lids go up on both sides. So that the eyeball has a bit more influence on the lids. And then you finish with just a little bit of eyebrow raise there. All right. That's it. It's very, very picky only because it's so awesome and I love it. And that's it from me. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.